Hey folks, welcome back to another video. I'm still a bit sick, so um, that's why I'm maybe sounding a bit different than usual. Um, but in this video, I want to talk about the new possibilities of creating synthesizers with some effects in Bitwig Studio 5.1, because we got the new Filter Plus device and Sweep device, which opens up some possibilities. And uh, it's not something you need to know, but for me, it's kind of yeah, fun to explore these new possibilities. So here we have a new instrument track. And instead of loading an instrument into the channel here, we load in an audio effect. In fact, the filter plus device, and you can see it doesn't show up because it's pre-selecting here all the instruments. So we have to ch change up here the browser filter. So I'm using filter plus, right? And I'm using it as, as I use an instrument. So I'm making here this I uh, on this track, so I'm receiving some MIDI notes from the keyboard, as you can see here. So instead of using a DC offset device to create waveforms, we can also use here a different um, wave shaper. We use, let's say, um, Chepi Chef here, and we use at the end here an oscilloscope. Put this into play mode. So when you change a DC offset uh, Chebyshev amount, you can see nothing changes, but when you disable your DC uh, an, uh, option, then it looks like this. Basically can create wave shapes with this. So to make this to play a sound, um, we use here a new modulator and we go for a wavetable LFO. And the wavetable LFO here uses some interesting timing settings. We can use Hertz, kilohertz, which is audio rate, right? But we want to use here, of course, pitch of current node. So it changes basically the frequency based on the MIDI key you are pressing on the, on the MIDI keyboard. And we're going to use this to modulate basically a DC offset device. Maybe you go down here with the loudness a bit. Um, so let's modulate this here. So all we have to do now is to create here some kind of new modulator, let's say segments. Um, we dial in here a new, uh, new envelope, something like this. Um, and then we modulate basically here with, um, with the segments, we modulate the amount of the wavetable LFO. And we can play notes and yeah, on the keyboard like you used to with a normal mono synth. Um, the wavetable LFO here, we want to switch into per voice mode because we want to play this polyphonically, right? So we switch this to per voice mode. Um, the segment itself is also in per voice mode. And we maybe also want to use your expressions for that and use velocity to change the amount here of the segments modulation, right? So the harder we press on the keyboard, the more we modulate basically the LFO. Expressions is also in per voice mode. And so we select the device for the plus device, and then we increase here just the voices to maybe let's say 16 voices. So we have more or less like a polyphonic synth now here. Yeah? Um, we probably also have to increase it out the gate. And let's use your velocity also for the index. Let's see how this sounds. So it's it's an interesting way of creating a synthesizer, a polyphonic synthesizer, just with an audio FX device inside of Bitwig Studio here. Yeah? Um, so we can also apply, of course, your filter because we have to, you know, we can choose all the filters here from Bitwig and just use that and use the, um, yeah, the shaper basically as an oscillator 
and then the rest is like a normal synthesizer. We can also attach here, let's say a reverb. Mm, let's go for space here. Well, let's go for different filter. So a filter plus device is basically also a nice instrument. Um, I showed you in some of the recent videos how to create some kind of uh, additive synth or modal synthesizer with this. But this is also possible here. Just use Chappy Chef to basically create an oscillator on the fly. Another interesting way of creating a synthesizer could be to use the sweep. Um, effect here of uh, Bitwig Studio looks like this. So we have two filters basically. One filter goes into um, this kind of shaper here and then into the second filter. So what we can do here is maybe choose here, let's say low pass, open this up and this one gets um, also a Chappy Chef here. And the first one we use, let's say, SVF because it's a highly resonant multi-mode filter. So we use an SVF here, go to pan pass, and as soon as you increase here the resonance, you get a sign. Okay, so we can say ADSR, something like this, and then increase here basically the the resonance with this. And then we use a key track, relative key track. Um, this one needs to go here, of course, to C3, right? And then we modulate here this by exactly uh, 64 because the spread range of the key track is 64 semitones. So we use now this routing here, which goes this filter into this Chubby Jeff and then into this low pass filter here. So we can create you with different um, with different uh, shapers, different overtones, because this is just a sine wave. There are no overtones. Uh, so the second filter doesn't make any sense. We need to introduce here some overtones with this. Uh, let's go for wavetable LFO here and do the same thing, uh, pitch and yeah, we put this into per voice mode, then modulate this here and maybe switch off here bipolar setting. <laughs> Maybe different ADSI here for the for this one. Um, would be maybe better in the first example to also switch here the bipolar setting off, but you know, it's too late. So you can, as you can hear, it can create kind of interesting sounds. It's a bit of a different uh, synthesizer concept here. It's not like, you know, Polymer, you have like two filters and just one um, shaper in the middle. Um, can be interesting to create sounds this way. Maybe put this here into polyphonic mode, 16 voices. Also here, auto gate needs to go up. It's probably better instead of using it the reson resonance to keep the resonance up 
and then use here um, this gain knob, drive knob. Maybe some delay here. Maybe a different filter. It's a bit strangely, I have to admit. But you get sound out of it, <laughs> that's the important part. Um, so yeah, I just want to uh, give you this idea um, f for some inspiration. Maybe you have an idea how to create something interesting with that. Maybe it's also interesting later down in the effect chain to create sounds in a certain way. So um, the takeaway from this video is that you can use here the Chappy Chef uh, with this DC disabled and you can use it or misuse it as an oscillator. So it's maybe something interesting for the first video after me being sick coming back to this channel give us some ideas um, I think that's it for this video thanks for watching guys if you have some questions leave me in the comments uh, what you want to know and uh, leave a like subscribe to the channel and I see you tomorrow thanks for watching and bye